The presenting sponsor for On Education is Classcraft. We're so excited to announce Classcraft's new story mode, which makes it easy for educators to harness the power of stories. But that's not all. Have you ever wanted to see yourself as a character in a story? Now teachers and students can create their custom game avatars and see them come to life on an augmented reality poster. To learn more about Classcraft's story mode and the new AR experience, simply visit classcraft.com. All of these friendships and, and these new ways of learning for me, they really stem, I can stem them back in one way or another to Twitter. All right, we are here with Jen Williams, my good friend Jen Williams. Thanks for joining us on the podcast. Thanks for having me. I'm thrilled to be here with you guys. So for folks who may not know exactly who you are and what you do, why don't you uh, introduce yourself, tell everyone where you're from and what you what you do. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys having me here today. So I, um, you know, it's funny, I work with with lots of groups of students and I talk to them about, they need to have that elevator pitch and they need to narrow in on what they do and they can say it in like two sentences. For me, it's, I'm still working on that. It's quite sure. complicated, um, but I'm always an educator at heart and that's how I would say I define myself. But I am here from Florida within the United States, excited to be here at ISTE, it's incredible. And I am honored to be representing my work around social good, sustainable development goals, I'm also a professor at the university in my area, St. Leo University. So I have the pleasure to work with pre-service teachers and currently mm -hmm. practicing teachers. Yeah. Nice. And so you're at ISTE and you're doing a bunch of sessions, presentations. Tell us a bit about those things. Yeah. For anyone listening in too, I have, we have this awesome view here in the recording studio. So we're able to see out right into the expo hall. So I am here um, presenting. I have several sessions. I'm working with with some different groups around social good. So I'm able to share about that. I had a session yesterday on design thinking, one this morning on bringing social good to your school and district. I have a, one this afternoon on my book, Teach Boldly, and then a couple more over the next few days. So I was wondering, uh, Andrew Arevalo yeah. is a real big, uh, you had just said, what was that statement that you just made that was on those sustainable? Right. The Sustainable Development, development Goals. goals. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us more about that? Sure. Yeah. So anyone that um, is not yet familiar with the SDGs, so they're known by some as the Global Goals, the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals. So these are 17 goals that we all as a world agreed upon in 2015 to reach by the year 2030. Mm. And so for me, um, these are goals that are brought to us by the United Nations, yeah. and I'm part of a group that looks to bring those goals to classrooms. So how can teachers incorporate these goals into instruction? And what we call is hashtag teach SDGs. Yes. So they're all around sustainability, social good, things like gender equality, climate action, life underwater. So no matter uh, what your students are passionate about, there's something that they can adhere to with the goals. I love that. Yeah. What are people doing? Like, so I, I think I know, well, Ben Kelly does uh, something related to the SDGs mm -hmm. with his Minecraft stuff, but right. I'm sure that there's lots of other mm -hmm. great stories. I'd love for you to, if you can think of some off the top of your head, some things that people are doing, maybe even shout out some specific people if you can think of them that are doing awesome SDG work. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love sharing about teachers that are doing the work. Yeah. So for me, I, I've been talking about global education, global collaboration for a really long time. And I have to say that until the goals came around, it, it wasn't, we didn't have that sticky quality mm. with the goals. Um, similar to what you're seeing now with STEM, like people really adhere to it. They're like, yes, I'm in. So uh, with global ed, People would be like, that's a nice to have. That's fantastic that you're doing that work. But I have standards I have to hit. <laughs> I, yeah. I have testing. Tests. I don't necessarily have time. But when the SDGs came about, and if you look them up online, I don't know if it's these like really awesome graphics, these icons that pop or these colors or something where teachers can just see themselves in the work that's all of a sudden made all the difference. So I would say in the first few years of the work with SDGs, it really was about awareness. So getting people to have an understanding that they even existed. And now we have teachers that are saying, I've got it. Now I'm ready to jump right in. 
And so the cool thing about the, the SDGs is they connect so nicely to innovation. Mm. And so teachers that are looking to have their students solve a problem that's related to them, their passions, their local community, their global community, what they can then do is say, all right, so you mentioned coding, Mike. We are going to code um, for now a problem that really exists. Mm-hmm, so instead mm-hmm. of saying something like, all right, we're going to make up this thing and it really goes nowhere. It's something where the kids can go, huh, I'm actually taking what I'm learning, applying it. I see what it means and what it looks like out in action. So teachers that are teaching kindergartners, they're talking about the global goals and they're they're sharing um, how students can take action. So that's the, the other piece that I felt like was missing where teachers were saying, all right, so we're going to do things around global competencies and cultural awareness. We're going to talk about cultures in the form of food or mm-hmm. clothing now it's saying, all right, how can we take action and move to that next level? Um, you talked about Drew. He's doing really cool things with innovation. So you're yeah. taking students to this level of like prototyping and having them go back and going back to creating that elevator pitch. So what are you wanting to, ch- how do you want to change the world? How do you see this new invention that you're going to create that can make a difference in the lives of people in your world. And so you're incorporating science, you're incorporating literacy. So they're starting to listen, speak, read, write all around something that they're passionate about. So it's super cool. I saw that you were even connected with like Jane Goodall. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. You know, that is, it's, (laughs) and I, and for me, like if you're, anyone in your audience is just getting connected on Twitter, for me, it all started with a tweet crazy enough. And so back with the SDGs, we had sent a tweet the, to the UN. They responded. like We were like, who's doing this work in <laughs> classrooms? And then the UN responded and said, we're interested too. Would you mind coming and talking to us about this? And it's like, yeah, when the, right. UN, <laughs> when the UN calls, you go. And so then starting to do the work. And then Jane Goodall and her um, organization also doing phenomenal work. I had grown up wanting to be Jane Goodall. Mm -hmm. I I remember I, um, in third grade, um, (laughs) so when I was in third grade, there was this great famine in Ethiopia. Do you guys remember that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so um, this was a cause, going back to helping students find their passion and their purpose. This was a cause I was passionate about. I raised as many like quarters and nickels and dimes as I could, sent it over. Um, those are like, we are the world. Was, yes, like, we are my the world. Theme, right. theme song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, so Jane Goodall was my hero. And so now after these several years of doing this work in social good, her organization reached out through a colleague of mine and said, we, we already have our program called the Roots and Shoots Curriculum, which mm. is all around environmental work, but we'd like to align to the SDGs. Would you be willing to help? Dang. And which is such a powerful question, you know, <laughs> yes. even when your, your teacher next door says to you, are you willing to help? You're mm-hmm. like, yes, as a teacher, like, absolutely. You know, we're defined by that. So, um, now I have this opportunity to work with her organization. We are building out programs for children in different parts of Africa mm-hmm. and empowering them to take action in their local communities, just like we're doing here in the States. Jeez. That's amazing. It's got to feel good to be given the opportunity to play such a critical role in such an important thing. Yeah. You know, but what I see is like it is, it is it's such an honor. Um, but I get to see teachers doing this every day. So going back to that kindergarten teacher or that fourth grade teacher or high school teacher, we can, we just all need to start small and then scale up. So start with a small idea, scale it up with me. It started with a tweet, things like that. And just having your eyes open to opportunity. And so if it is truly something that you're passionate about and something that you're ready to dedicate yourself to stick with it. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, we're in this, this world of ed tech, we're here at ISTE. There's a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. (laughs) There's a lot that's coming at you. And so um, for a lot of us, it's just staying true to ourselves, staying, you know, really connected to our core and our own purpose and um, being willing to stick with that for some time and Mm -hmm. not just what's new this year, what's new this moment. So for me, it's just something that even when I didn't have those people coming to those global collaboration sessions several years ago, when they didn't have that sticky quality of the SDGs, I said, this is my thing, you know, this is my jam and I'm, um, I'm going to, I'm going to stay with it for the long run. That's awesome. 
why don't you tell everybody what's going on in your life? What's what's good? How can people connect with you? What do you uh, what do you have out there that people can uh, can can get a hold of? Uh, you know, what's what's Jen Williams? Yeah. So um, I love Twitter. <laughs> I I really have found that Twitter has been. Um, I can all of these different relationships. So now we connected in Canada and right. all of these friendships and and these new ways of learning for me, they really stem, I can stem them back in one way or another to Twitter. So I would love to connect with anyone out there that's interested in this work on Twitter. I'm Jen Williams EDU on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. So I'd love to have um, your listeners connect there. I am honored to have a book coming out with ISTE and it's called Teach Boldly Using a Tech for Social Good. Mm. It's available for pre-order now. I, um, you know, my, my, as a teacher, my background is I'm a literacy specialist. So in addition to growing up wanting to be Jane Goodall, I also grew up wanting to be an author. So I'm living out my dream of You're knocking off all the bucket list stuff, right? Yeah. Living your best life. <laughs> I know. I also wanted to be an astronaut, so I don't know. Well, that's next. <laughs> Didn't we all? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, that's available on ISTE.org and I can't wait to hear how people, you know, feel about it. Awesome. Amazing. Jen Love Williams, it. everybody. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for listening to On Education. My name is Mike Washburn. My co-host is Glenn Irvin. Want to get in touch with us? Check out our website at oneducationpodcast.com. You can tweet us at oneducationpod. Glenn is at Irv Spanish on Twitter. I can be found on Twitter at Mr. Washburn. You can find us on Facebook by visiting facebook.com slash oneducationpod. We're also on Instagram at oneducationpod. If you're enjoying the show and think others would too, we'd be thrilled if you shared it with them. Please leave us a rating or review in Apple Podcasts or on the Google Play Store. When you leave a rating, it gives our rankings a boost. This helps others discover the show. We want to thank our presenting sponsor, Classcraft, for supporting us. Check out classcraft.com slash on education to learn more about them. Thanks as always for listening. Stay awesome. See you soon.